It's difficult to ignore a 200 voice wall of sound. And maybe that's why so many people identify with the Harmony Project Choir. It's the face of the organization. Each season brings new faces and questions because there are no auditions. But by the end of that first rehearsal, you start to hear the collective voice. And that's what we're going for. There are no fees to participate, but the members must serve alongside others in the greater community. Some members give time weekly at the Commons at Buckingham where residents and volunteers have developed meaningful friendships. Our programming provides a reconnection to the social community. And in keeping with the Harmony Project mission, the residents also give back to Columbus. I can see the change in their self-confidence, their ability to communicate in a social setting. It does wonders for them to see the start and the finished product that they themselves have been involved in. It gives you an opportunity to really think about what you need to do, you know, to, to push on. I have terminal lung cancer, and this group has just, they've made all the difference in the world for me. Once a week at South High School, we work with approximately 60 students. This program began in September of 2012, and in May of 2013, the students are traveling to D.C. to perform at the City Year National Convention. They're reminding us not to give up on public schools, but to do the opposite. Let's raise the bar and give them the room to reach it in creative ways. This year, we launched a new service program to unite people from across Columbus to work together in one neighborhood for one week. We knew we could not do this alone. This would require dozens of other organizations and businesses and hundreds of volunteers. All of a sudden, around February, Things started moving, and not just moving a little bit, but moving at a frenetic pace. And next thing I know, I'm out knocking on doors with City Council Member Craig and David. As we're walking by, Brian had selected the daycare center as a place where maybe we could do some volunteer work. And we looked at your playground over there and thought, well, we could maybe remulch that for you, add some mulch to it. If you want to come work that day, we're going to be out cleaning the streets. And it's just about to get everybody involved working together. But all these people that are in this room today came here because they know that you want a playground. And we're going to give you the tools to draw it, make it happen, make it be. You're going to create it. You're going to dream it up. And then what you dream up and what you draw, we're going to build together. The volunteer turnout today has been phenomenal. We have about 70 volunteers here today from the community and also from the four primary partners that have worked for the last 51 days to pull this thing together. I think the interesting part of this project has been the opportunity to partner with so many different people, people that we really hadn't met yet. I think we've made some wonderful connections, established some great relationships. This is our city. Uh, it's a wonderful thing that we are doing this week, and it really shows the passion and commitment of the folks. Uh, I am so honored to serve. The Elvis House is for ex-offenders trying to get your life back on track and use what negatives and failures you had and use them to, towards the positive. So this is our way of giving back. The whole idea was to create a design that volunteers could paint. To create an image that represented Livingston Avenue during the 20s and 40s. Designs representing all the people, buildings that I remember as I was growing up. This is not just my project, it's really the people that are involved. The neighborhood was very had a Jewish flavor in the early 1900s all the way up to about the 60s. But what I like is that I was able to bring a little Jewish flavor to my painting. One of the things that I remember the most about living in this uh, area was riding the bus with my mom. So I had a silhouette of um, my mom and I holding hands waiting for the bus because that was one of my earliest memories of being on Livingston Avenue and growing up in that area. It's not just the Singers in the Harmony Project, but it's also the people from this community that are reaching out and showing that they're proud to not only live in the city of Columbus, but to live on Livingston Avenue. Today has been amazing. 
The energy is fantastic. There's over 100 people working together to make a difference, and they've really been doing an awesome job. All these people that, people you never would have met, people you never would have seen, uh, different backgrounds, ethnic, it doesn't even matter. We're here for one common goal, and that's to help the community, to build up the community, help the kids. I hope that all y'all young kids out there enjoy this park just as well as I enjoy building it. I'm just glad to be a part of it. This is amazing. As you can see, the weather, it's been raining all day and cold all day, but it didn't stop any volunteers from coming out, bringing us to life. Um, I'm in the Alvis house right now, um, trying to rebuild my life. And, you know, I've had a great time out here. You know, it's for the kids, it's for a good cause. We're just proud to be part of this, uh, this neighborhood project, which is awesome. Uh, I grew up right down the street from here, and I used to play on this playground all the time. It didn't have anything like this. You're part of that mission today. You are enriching the lives of the citizens of Columbus. You know, it's funny. Rufus and I have been involved in the community all our lives. Honey and I actually connected through junior high school and high school. But it's interesting how so many paths have intertwined with this project. i got to tell you something <laughs> that just happened, though, OK? OK. The Alvis House guys were over with the children at the JCC. The kids are all with them. They're all digging in the dirt together. And the kids are singing Shalom, Shalom. And all the Alvis House guys start go. singing Shalom, I Shalom. <laughs> and they're all clapping their hands. And I started crying like a little baby. Yeah. And I had to get out of there. Because I was like, <laughs> that is what this whole week is That's about right. right there. We cleaned up 100 blocks, and uh, we really made a good decision to help our community. I just think it's a good thing that we got out here, because this is like where most of us live, so for us to get out here and clean our own community is a good thing to me. It made me feel appreciated. It made me feel like we was making a difference, you know, making the world a better place. Five thousand hours of community service later, we witness the power of one Columbus coming together, where the community is both benefactor and beneficiary. And the Harmony Project is doing other things in the area, just really fantastic. So we want to thank them for giving Driving Park area a uplift that we have never experienced before. I've met a ton of new people today, and everybody's been great. It's been more about who's been doing it. We have had people from all walks of life, from all over the city, from various organizations who have come in, come alongside one another, and just simply said, what can we do to help? It's just a beautiful thing. It really warms your heart. It, it really, really warms your heart because in today's time, you don't see people coming together on such a big cause like this. It seems like everything is just kind of working at its magic. This is what community looks like. I mean, sometimes it's gritty, sometimes it's messy and dirty and complicated. But ultimately, this is real. This is beautiful. This is awesome. Uh, in a word, it's just awesome. The Harmony Project, to me, is the best practice in the nation of volunteering. 